Good day. Today's lesson, we're going to learn how to create a proper citation for a document using citationmachine.net. So we're going to have a Word document open. We're also going to go to our online class first to see what we need to do. So our document that we're going to be creating is about cyberbullying. So we want, there are three questions that I'd like you to answer actually just quoting or citing information that you found on the internet. So the whole idea here is to quote or cite something that you found on the internet. And we're going to use the help of citationmachine.net to do so. So if we click on our class, and then we have in our class, we scroll down. Here it is. So we're going to use citationmachine.net in order to help us format our citation. The questions that we'd like to answer are, what is cyberbullying? Who does it hurt? And what can be done to prevent cyberbullying? The next project after this one will be creating a brochure using Microsoft Publisher. So we want to make sure we have enough information to put in our brochure. And we also want to make sure that we have the proper citing so we can give credit where credit is due for who did the research. So first and foremost, I would copy all the questions that we need to answer. Right click, select it, right click, copy, and open a Word document. And we're using Word 2007. And in the Word document, you're going to click on the paste button at the top left hand corner. Throughout this whole demonstration and lesson, I'd like to make sure that you have all three documents open. You're going to have a Word document open. You're going to have our uh, citationmachine.net open, and you're going to have another internet browser open for doing a search. So our first question is, what is cyberbullying? I spelled it wrong. In order, what I can see is I spelled it wrong because it's underlined. So how do I get the correct spelling? I can right click. I can change it like that. There's also another way to spell it is C-Y-B-E-R-B-U-L-L-Y-I-N-G. I'm going to do that. Here. Same here. Okay. So I'm going to highlight, I'm going to copy the first question, right click copy, and I'm going to go to my regular internet browser. Open a new window, and I'm going to type this in a, a Google search. And what I want to do is I want to put it in quotes. When I put it in quotes, it's going to give me the exact phrase. Not the one. There we go. What is cyberbullying? And I'm going to click Enter, and it's going to bring up several several websites so we have a lot to choose from let's just look and see what we can see click on this one what is cyberbullying So this has something on it right here. What is cyberbullying? So let's take that. This is our quote we're going to borrow. Cyberbullying. I'm going to right select it, right click, copy. I'm going to go over to my Word document. I'm going to enter. Enter again to take away that. I'm just going to hold my shift key down and push enter again. And that will just take me down to the next line. What is cyberbullying? Here we go. All these. No 
was the lineup. So now I have my quote. I want to quote it because I didn't write it. And I need to create a work cited. So this is going to be my work cited. So that's this is where the citation machine comes in handy. So if we go back onto our course on here it is. It says C I T A T I O N M A C H I N E dot net. All I do is I click it and it will open up to a new window that looks like this. Citation machine. And the cool thing about this is on the left it gives you different styles. You can do MLA, you can do APA, Chicago, and this other one, T U R. A B I A N, Turbabian. I'm going to use APA because that's what I've used a lot. So I'll click on the APA style. And the great thing is, it gives me all these different options that I can have this website convert into APA style for me. So as it says over here, click on the citation format you need and then type the resource you wish to cite. Complete the web form that appears in the information from the source. Click Make Citation to generate the standard bibliographic and in-text citation. So this is what we're going to do. We're doing an, a web page. So that's what we're going to click on the web page. It's a non-print. So I just click there. And what I'm supposed to do now is try to figure out the information that I have on this web page that I can cite. So I have my web page title, which is What is Cyberbullying? So I'm going to put that there. I also have this is the date, and it says the date access. I'm looking for the date that it was published, and usually it's at the top or the bottom. And since I don't see uh, an actual date published, I'm going to put it at 2009, just for the year. I don't see an author. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and find out who owns the copyright to this. So the copyright is owned by Crown. I'm going to select that. C R O W N. I'm going to put that here. C R O W N. And then it asks me for the website title. So I for the website title I usually use something that's up here. So this is direct gov. I'm going to put that down here, the website title, which is D I R E C T G O V. And the document URL is this area right up here. This is the area in which is the address or the location of this specific page. So I want to make sure I have everything. So I double click it, I right click, I copy, and I go here to the document URL, I right click and I paste. So now I have the document URL here, which is the location. I have the title of the website, which is direct Gov. I have the date that I accessed it, which was today, May 4th, 2009. I have the web page title, which is What is Cyberbullying? I have the date of publication, and I have the author who copyrighted it. So now I click Submit, and it will generate my citation for me. All I'm doing is I'm Selecting the whole thing in this gray area, I right click copy, then I go to my Word document, and my work cited, and I right click and I paste it. One last thing I need to do is I need to make sure I let people know which work cited I used for this quote. Brown, 2009. There we go. So this is one site. What I need you to do now 
because you're going to be doing that for the rest of the questions. And I would like to have at least, at least five different works cited down here using the citationmachine.net. So make sure, I'm not asking you to come up with your own words here, I'm just asking you to copy and paste and cite. So the key areas in citing are that space here. I want to make sure that we let people know which work cited you're using down here and where you're citing it. And this is your work cited down here. Let's go back to the citation machine. When it comes up, you click on APA. And you scroll down from APA and you click on web page. And that way you have the area in which to fill out the information. All you have to do is follow along and find the information that's on the web page. Once you're done, copy and paste, put it over here. And you're on your way to creating a great beginning work cited that we can build a brochure from. Until next time. Gather all your sources that you can get. Look forward to hearing from you. Seeing you in class. Goodbye.